It's June 1st and you're watching Tea with Tanika. I'm that girl Tanika and here is your weekend review. So Roseanne Barr did a thing that got her show canceled. The arguably talented comedian took to her Twitter account to say these wonderful words about another human being. Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. Now, this was directed at former top aide to Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, Valerie Jarrett. Now, as you can imagine, it didn't go over well. Fellow comedian and show writer Wanda Sykes chucked the deuces and noped on out of that sitcom shortly after. And then ABC announced that they were canceling the hell out of the show shortly after Wanda decided she was going to leave. Now... The funny thing here is, is that I can't imagine how someone who looks like Miss Roseanne Barr can be out here making any kind of statements about anybody's appearance. Not when she literally looks like a dehydrated baked potato. You know, like when you take it out of the oven and you put it on the counter for just a little bit too long and it starts to shrivel up and the skin on the outside gets all wrinkly. Like, really, Miss Barr, that's what, that's, that's what we finna do? Okay. Now, as you can imagine, um, as all of this is transpiring, Miss Roseanne seems to be getting more and more remorseful. So she takes to her Twitter account again, and she said that, you know, she apologized, backpedaled, did all of that, and was saying that um, when she sent that original tweet, she was kind of half-ass tweeting like she wasn't really in her right mind she had taken some Ambien and the Ambien is to blame for her tweet now here's the gag because Ambien was literally like no man what you will not do and then they released this statement on Twitter while all pharmaceutical treatments have side effects, racism is not a side effect of any of Sanofi's medication. Go on, go on, come on, leave me edgeless. So yeah, now everyone is out of a job thanks to Miss Roseanne's racist comments. Now another kicker, this one's for free. The president of ABC who decided that they would not be doing this Roseanne show anymore, is this lovely lady right here and her name is Miss Channing Dungey. Go on, go on, come on, leave me edgeless. Hextra, hextra, read all about it. So, Drake is beefing with someone new and you probably already know who it is because it's been circulating all over the place. Pusha T is a fellow rapper. Now they're like beefing rappers, so I don't know how much of fellows they are, but Pusha T used to be a part of a group called Clips with um, Pharrell and uh, I don't know, I haven't really heard a lot from him lately, but I mean, I'm also kind of eclectic. I listen to everything and, you know, eh, eh. So Pusha T is out here putting people's business in the street. He literally dubbed Drake a deadbeat father. Now, I mean, that's cold, right? I mean, especially since Drake ain't out here claiming anybody's kids, but allegedly, and this is like super duper allegedly. Um, he has a kid with a um, adult film star by the name of Sophie Brousseau. She's French. French. Oui, oui, huh, huh. Um, and she has lawyered up and is looking for child support from Drake. Um, but... I, I don't really know how much of this is Pusha T's business, really. Um, but he put it on wax, so to speak, um, and talked very freely about Drake's business. Uh, now, what's really crazy here is that the album cover for this particular diss track that he made was a 2007 photo of a very young, de-bearded, less swole version of Drake in blackface. Yee. Drake has since responded and he said this, 
He said that he was an actor when the picture was taken back in 2007, like I just said. And it was to show how African Americans were once wrongly portrayed in entertainment. Man, whatever. Do y'all believe that? Tell me in the comment section below. Either way, I'm really interested to hear what he has to say. Now, I have heard um, the, the duppy face, diss, whatever. I'm old. I don't remember the titles of these things. I listen to them and I throw them away. I did. At any rate, I did listen to it and he was a little bit more cold and more savage than Pusha T. I, I like his already. Like, he's just got that pale people petty. You know what I mean? Like, be mad about it if you want to. But it's like that petty that, you know, is it's, it's just, it's Drake petty. You know? You know? And finally... Word is on the street that Priyanka Chopra is out here chopping down Nick Jonas's tree. Now, the age difference between the two is 10 years. Priyanka is 35 and Nick is 25. Um, now, neither one of them has come out and actually um, said that they're together. But this picture of them was taken on Memorial Day. And as you can see in the picture, they're here with friends, but as you can see in the, in the picture, they look very cozy together. And it's not that comfortable cozy. No, no, no. It's that we've seen each other naked kind of cozy. You know? Now, just last year, the two were spotted at the 2017 Met Gala. And at that time, um, Priyanka said that they were just friends. But a lot can change in a year. A lot can change. Listen, Priyanka, if you are really out here breaking down headboards with Mr. Nick Jonas, I'd say have at it. Do it to it. Get your life, honey. Get your orgasm. My God, have you seen the man? He looks like a buttermilk biscuit with KFC gravy. Yes. Uh. All right, y'all. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button on your way out. Also, don't be stingy. Share the shade. Tell a friend and come back. See you same time next week. And until then, may the fierce be with you.